But all right, to so screw the politics and the real world shit, I don't, I don't want to talk about that anymore. I, I'm done with that. Let's go on to everyone's favorite topic, World of Warcraft, and uh, specifically, the Banshee Queen. Because, yep, uh, Steve Denuser was doing a Q&A session with Dexerto, and they were talking very specifically about Our Lady Sylvanas. Now, there's a couple of things that I did not know, which is really interesting. For one, the final story of the patch isn't on the PTR. The final quest chains of the patch is not on the PTR, and this is by design. The only time players will be able to see the finale of 9.2 is by physically playing to the end of 9.2. And this is specifically the conclusion of the Sylvana storyline. Um, so that sort of spoilers for everyone. I think it's very good. I think, um, I think they should do this a lot more. Personally, I think none of the story should ever go on to the PTR. Like find ways of testing the mechanics, right, of the story. So find ways of testing the ability to go through the story, but don't reveal the story. So don't have any of the dialogue in there. Don't have any of the cinematics in there. Uh, keep those things for when we finally get to it, because that makes it a lot more interesting. And like I said in a previous video uh, where we discussed this, the problem so often with releasing story in the PTR is we don't get that story in sequence. So we oftentimes get it completely out of position in the sequence that it's supposed to fall into. So you don't actually know what's happening there. And more importantly, you don't get the full story. You, you don't get the full story because oftentimes the cinematic that is supposed to accompany the story isn't available until launch. So you, you, you rile people up for reasons that is unnecessary. You don't have to. Just keep the story for when people actually play through it because that makes it more interesting. Literally, just the fact that I know that there is a story at the end that isn't on the PTR makes me want to play 9.2. I now actually want to resub for 9.2 just so that I can see the final story of Sylvanas. It's strange as fuck, but it's true. Okay, so Steve Denuser in this interview or in this Q&A didn't say much. A lot of this, like the first bits, is really just the author sort of recapping the story, you know, doing everything that we already know. Um, the uh, the infamous stuff with Shattered Legacies, the infin infamous stuff with Sylvanas, all that is recapped here. So we're going to get to where Steve Denuser talks. As we come into 9.2 and finally get our reckoning with the Jailer, Sylvanas' ongoing struggle to reconcile with the sins of her past self will form an overarching part of the patch's narrative. Throughout Eternity's End, this is Steve Denuser, we will see much more of that shattered legacy's story, and we will work towards a resolution of the Sylvanas arc. That's been something that's been building for a very long time time. Um, Sylvanas is obviously pivotal in the events that led us to the Shadowlands. So now that those two pieces of her soul are back together, it doesn't mean that one of them is gone. The Banshee Queen is not gone. The Ranger General hasn't taken over. It's that those two pieces are having to find a path forward and they have to become one entity and one soul, not this fractured thing. Very interesting. So Steve Denuser actually does say here that players will see that snarkiness of Sylvanas, you know, that sass that Sylvanas had all this time, the, the arrogance from Sylvanas, that's all still there. S Sylvanas still answers people with a very sort of snarky uh, way because it is who she is. Uh, that hasn't gone away. So they've done seemingly a lot of work on making sure that players see these two different, um, th these two different Sylvanas components now being as one. So her her full personality has now come back. You are correct, Blasphemous Crow. This is what she was like in Warcraft Three. So effectively, she is now just once again the full Sylvanas Windrunner, rather than just the half bit that we've been able to see up until now. So Steve Denuser continues, but that's not an easy road to walk. And whether she can do that and what form that takes is what you'll see as you play through that content. We're very excited about how that story culminates. It will play out in a chapter of the Covenant campaign that we didn't put out on the test realm for a specific reason, because we wanted to hold back that final piece to the story for players to discover as they play through the content. 
love that. Please give us more of that. So, I mean, from a speculation standpoint, um, I think, I still don't think he's gonna, they're gonna be able to pull off uh, uh, the redemption. Now, he does actually say in this, Sylvanas will live. Uh, in this article, Steve Denuser makes it very clear. She doesn't actually quote him on this. She actually says he said that to her. Um, they're not killing Sylvanas. Sylvanas is going to live. The question is, what kind of Sylvanas will she be moving forward? So how does she turn out of this? I think that's going to lead to some people being very upset. I think that's going to lead to some people not like feeling like they've been cheated out of it. Um, at the same time, this is an interesting individual story arc that I enjoy, right? I, I enjoy when Blizzard goes into these small individual story arcs, because that's usually when it works. Um, it's whenever Blizzard goes into these giant story arcs that things can fall apart. But in the small ones, the individual ones, the more personalized ones, it really feels good. Um, I don't think people have to worry. So let me just be, let, let me be clear. You don't have to worry that you're going to deal with Sylvanas in future expansions, at least not for the foreseeable future. Um, I think Blizzard is going to redeem her and then move her away. She is most likely, and that would, I can explain to you from a speculation standpoint why it would work this way. Where does Sylvanas Windrunner fit in right now in the story chat? After this, after she's been redeemed and she's figured out how to live with the other part of her soul, where does Sylvanas fit in? She's no longer Horde. She can't be, right? Because the, the Ranger General part of her soul would not accept being the leader of the Forsaken. She doesn't see herself as the Forsaken anymore. But she can't go to the Alliance either because the Banshee part of her will not accept the Alliance. So Sylvanas Windrunner is effectively a character with no home. And I think that's how it should be, at least for the next two or three expansions. We should not see Sylvanas' story continue or unfold until people have had the chance to really move on, to, to move along, move on, and, and basically forget about everything that we saw with Sylvanas. And then maybe you can bring, bring Sylvanas back into the fray. But not until, like, not... I don't want them to rush this. I think that's my biggest issue it's fine if Sylvana sort of figures out how she wants to move forward but i think we can all agree if you went through the ordeal that Sylvanas have gone through if you put your hatred for her aside and you imagine that you just get this part of your soul back that looks at your actions and cannot figure out how so much evil could have been done i think that's going to take a long time correct you're not just going to get over that in like a week Th this is going to take years of therapy to sort this shit out. So that's where I think putting her on the back burner, leaving her out of the fucking story for a while is the best possible solution. If you start bringing her back now, it's just going to piss people off. If she is in any way, shape or form in the next cinematic for World of Warcraft's 10.0 expansion, I think there are going to be people that's going to lose their shit because she's been in two now and she's been the main antagonist in at least one and a half of them. So I think there's going to be a lot of people that's going to be like, fuck this, I'm done. I, I don't want this again. Actually, she's been in three. Right? Um, so I don't, yeah, I think for those of you that truly hate Sylvanas, I've made my thoughts on this clear multiple times before. I do think that a lot of people aren't appreciating who Sylvanas was, right? And what happened to her. Cassiel, how are you doing? They should put her back where she was in BFA so she can burn the rest of the Alliance's crap. The end. <laughs> Personally, I would agree with you. I like the fact that they were taking Savannah's down a darker path. I love the fact that they were taking the Horde back to this, like, proper destructive version of what the Horde used to be. Um, you know, this more bloodthirsty, fuck the Alliance version of the Horde. I liked that because it would have brought out so much story on the Alliance side as well. Sadly, Blizzard decided to keep the Horde little pussies, the Alliance little pussies, everyone wants peace, and Sylvanas became this evil thing that makes little to no sense. Um, so my personal thing is, yes, I would have loved if the Horde just continued to follow Sylvanas and we just kept burning shit, and then the Alliance retaliated and started burning our shit. That would have made for, I think, a much more fun expansion, but that's not the way they went. So, sadly, we can't really do anything about that. It is what it is. 
Um, for now, though, I'm I'm I think a lot of people underestimate the tragedy of the Savannah's character and what happened to her. You have to understand that there's two portions of Savannah's, one guilty and one innocent. But if we are to look at both portions of her, the portion that made all of these decisions was completely and utterly devoid of emotion, devoid of empathy devoid of sympathy. This character was purely based on hatred. That's all Sylvanas was. She was one ball of hatred. And now that she has the Ranger General side of her back, that empathy is what you see completely overtake her. It's that empathy that hits back. And she realizes that everything she had done, she now has the empathy to look at what she had done and, and view it as incredibly evil. Um, it's interesting. Sylvanas effectively turned into the thing that she hated most. She turned into Arthas. This is what the Ranger General says. She's no different to Arthas. You know, so it's gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm very interested to see where Blizzard takes this.